Here we go. Here we go. This is the Angel Numbers video that you've been waiting on. This video isn't going to be like any other video that you've watched before. So listen, get your chair, get your snacks, class is in session. Welcome to my channel. My name is Savon. I'm a psychic medium, an energy healer, and spiritual teacher who also works with angels as well as those that have died and went to the spirit world okay so welcome to my channel um i want to talk about angel numbers if you haven't watched the spirit animal videos i want you to go back and watch that video i'm going to put the link in the description below and also the link to the video we can do all things through the inner christ i want you to watch those two videos because I'm gonna piggyback off of those videos in this video, but we're focusing on angel numbers. Everybody knows what angel numbers are. We've seen them, right? 111, 333, 555, 777. We see them all the time. A lot of people don't really know where they come from. We just all assume it's my angels giving me a message and then we go to Google and we look it up, but I want to go deeper. And I want to give you the deeper meaning behind the angel numbers, where it comes from, and also how it validates and gives you clear evidence that you are one with source, that there is an inner Christ, meaning there's an inner wisdom and power that is communicating to you and through you all the time. And one of the ways that it shows up is through angel numbers, all right? So we have to establish this, and I have props. My white candle, right? When the soul is created, this is the soul. We are just light. Before you are in a body, you're floating around the other dimensions, maybe the angelic realm, maybe a star realm, I don't know, but you're floating around. You're just a soul source consciousness, an aspect of the all. The all meaning, the creator, the universe, God, okay, divine wisdom, divine intelligence, whatever label you give it that works for you, use that, but understand that the soul is a part of that. And if you are a part of the whole, that means whatever the whole contains, has, is, so are you. So are you you and that's where we bring in what the christ the inner christ because christ i define as the wisdom and the power of the divine intelligence of the all that exists as a soul as you all right now that we've established that let's get into angel numbers so your soul you're born into a body right and your soul is always in connection with the whole we are at one with source and there's always a conversation going back and forth and back and forth between the soul and divine intelligence. Let me put this down, but I want to leave it here so you can see it. There's always a conversation going on between our light and spirit, the universe, right? But when we are in our body, we are in our ego, maybe we're stressed out, we're worried, we're in fear, we're no longer in connection with our light. So it feels like we're confused, we don't have clarity, now we're sad. Because the sadness is an indicator that we have somehow stepped out of alignment with what our source. We're frustrated, we're in fear, we're worried, we need healing, we've manifested sickness in the body. Or we're in a situation that we can't see our way out of, which really means our logic can't get us out of that situation, right? But when we get back into alignment with our light and because our light is always in conversation with the all, with God, with source, with spirit, then everything begins to flow again. We get the answers. We know the next steps. We receive that divine spiritual healing and then we're guided in the physical to the right doctor, the right therapist, the right person to work with, the right psychic medium, Savon Champel. <laughs> Links are below. Um, right? That divine intelligence, the inner Christ, will guide us. And then it doesn't feel like we are here on this planet by ourselves, wanting peace, wanting love and light, and everybody has gone crazy, right? That's never going to change. But what happens is we become in a tuned 
being, living from our light, living from our source, okay? And we can be in the world and not of it. Now, this is where angel numbers come in, okay? When we are questioning, what's the answer? Can I trust this? Am I on the right path? Is this the right decision? I don't know what to do. I need a sign, right? Because we're not able to become, uh, to, what's the word? We're not able to receive through our own inner awareness the messages from our light. Because we're loved so much and because the universe is always conspiring to support us, to get us where we need to be, to show us who we are, to show us our power, guess what happens? It's not coming from within, but as we go through our day, we're going through our day, and it's like, oh, 777. Why do I keep seeing 777? It's the divine intelligence that's bringing you the angel number because it's the easiest way to get to you rather than coming from the light within, the information that flows through you. I want you to hear what I'm saying. No matter what, the guidance will come to you if it's not coming through you. No matter what, the healing will come to you if it's not coming through you. The answer will come to you if it's not coming what? Through you, through the light. That's how much we are loved. And it proves our worthiness because it's always happening all the time, no matter what. We are loved unconditionally and we are supported. And so I wanna plant these seeds so you can reframe your thinking about how you're going about life. Whether you're tuned into your light or not, you'll still get the guidance. So then the angel numbers show up and I know there's all different types of numbers. I'm gonna just touch on a couple. But the angel numbers show up because within the angel numbers are what? Certain frequencies, certain energies, certain messaging, zah that relate to your life at that time. And it could be something that relates to your physical life. It relates to you emotionally. It relates to your spiritual guidance. It's different for everybody, but it's multifaceted. But the thing you need to understand is this. Those angel numbers are coming from the divine intelligence. The angels who are a part of the divine intelligence, who are what? An extension of divine intelligence your guardian angel, the angel that was assigned to you that you chose. But not only that, all of the other angels that exist, the other archangels, okay? The seraphim, the Elohim angels. I just blew, a, blew this out. This needs to stay lit. <laughs> all those other angels are available to support you and assist you, right? Hear what I'm saying. So not only do you have access to your light within, the Christ energy within, you have access to all that the divine intelligence is. And I spoke about this in my animal totems video. Same thing, different tool or different filter. It shows up through the animals. This video is how that love, how that guidance shows up through what? Angel numbers for you. So when you see 111, it's all about the self. It's all, to, all about putting yourself first, right? 111, what do you think about when you're one with source, putting yourself first, putting your soul first, the needs of who you are first, okay? I'm touching on this, but there's many facets to the numbers. Or you might see five or five, five, five. Five is about change. So when you're seeing the five, five, five or the double fives, it's about you needing to change or it represents you transforming and going through a change to get you to where you need to go in your life. So a lot of times people are going through changes and they're like, I don't know what's going on, what's happening, am I blocked, am I, am I screwing up here? The 555 lets you know, wait a minute, there's changes that are happening, there's an inner transformation that's happening or you need to change to shift in order to receive what it is that you're asking divine intelligence for, the angels for, source for. Make sense? How often have we seen 777? Seven is my life path number, it's a spiritual number, it's about connection, divine connection. So when you see that number, it's letting you know, yo, you are connected. 
So many people don't think that they're connected to source because they're in their head or they feel like crap. But there's nothing that you can do or say to disconnect or sever the natural connection you have to source. The 777 reinforces that, reinforce, reinforces that you are divinely connected, okay? And it's through that connection that everything that you want is coming to you. 888, abundance. When you see 888, know that abundance is around the corner. It's about prosperity, prosperity thinking, prosperity living, prosperity speaking. Whatever you're doing is leading you to prosperity when you see that number, okay? Now, 666 for a lot of people has different meanings, but for me, when I see 666, I know it's divine intelligence telling me to watch my thoughts. Somewhere along the way, I'm dipping into worry, negativity, fear, okay? Now, 666 could have a different meaning. It just depends on what's going on with you in that moment when you see the number, okay? So remember that too when you see the numbers. Sometimes it means what it says when you Google it, or it could mean something else. And if you look up the meaning of the number online and you notice, mm, that doesn't really resonate with me, then just ask yourself, what have you been asking for? Did you ask for a sign? Did you ask for confirmation in some way? Because that number, that sequence of numbers is actually your confirmation. And the message has to do with the answer you were expecting. So now you can remember every time you see that sequence of numbers, that's probably what it means for you. Does that make sense? It's like Morse code from heaven, okay? And we get it all the time. Before we go to bed, we see 1111, right? 1212, 222, 555. So not only does it come from divine intelligence, our loved ones, which I'm gonna do a separate video on this, but the spirit world can also give us signs through numbers so it's not always from your angels it could be from your dad your mother your child someone letting you know in the spirit world that they've made it over that they are at peace that they are with you again so pay attention to what's going on with you in the moment if in the moment you're grieving and you're thinking about someone that you lost and you notice the number that's who it is if you were just talking about that loved one okay looking at their pictures remembering something that you shared with them and then you notice the number that's their number and just pay attention okay so the last thing that i want to say and i want to reiterate this you are one with source you are very very powerful but you don't know it but i'm helping you to know it okay and so if you can open up your mind to understand that that divine intelligence, that love, that spirit that you are a part of will guide you in so many different ways, then you can have fun with it. Then you can live life in what I like to call a very shamanistic way where you recognize signs from the divine in all things, right? You see it in the animals, you see it with the angel numbers, but you also might see it in other situations, okay? And that way it opens you up to all the resources of the universe to help you, to get you where you're going. Why? Why is that important? The fundamental thing that ties all of us together that I know and I've learned over the last 20 plus years of giving readings is everybody's trying to figure out how do I create what I want in my life so I can be happy? How do I create the money? How do I create an opportunity that allows me to do something that feels good, that feels right, that has meaning, that fulfills me, and I get paid for it? How do I create loving, supportive, nurturing relationships that reflect my light, my wholeness, whether they're friendships or a loving partner? How do I heal and get over my insecurities? How do I get over my traumas? How do I get over the things that I can't? talk about right maybe you're not drawn to therapy i've had clients book sessions with me because they wanted to work with me over a therapist but when you have that and then you realize who you are what you're connected to be open and then the information comes to you the guidance comes to you that's why i do all the videos that i do if you've watched any one of my 700 plus videos i have healing meditations 
that guide you to work with the angels. I have meditations that guide you to work with your own inner light, right? Healing unfinished business, family issues, healing the inner child. You're learning to work with your power, right? My Oracle message videos. That is a perfect example for anybody that has watched it. And if you haven't, I wanna invite you to go through the playlist and just watch whatever video you're drawn to and see it for yourself. When you're drawn to watch the video and you pick a number, someone gave you that number, your light gave you the number, and then you pick the number and it's the message, the exact message that you needed to hear down to all the details that I'm sharing. If you can understand that there's an intelligence in you, a power that led you to my video, that led you to pick the right number, and then you learn how to work with it and work with the signs, that's what you need to be, to, that's what you need to do, but to learn to practice every day. That's where the spiritual practice comes in because it's us practicing our connection with our power, with our source, listening working with the angels, working with the animal totems, the animal guides, working with the angel numbers, all right? Working with what? Oracle cards. And I'm gonna do a separate video on oracle cards. This is gonna be a whole series. So when you understand that, then it doesn't feel like I'm alone, I don't have anybody, I'm not understood. I know what that feels like. And I need to say this to give you context because I could just get on here and talk. What qualifies me to share this is because I've been suicidal twice. My mother died when I was 13. She went to prison when I was 12, got out, six, got out when I was 12. I never met my father. My grandmother has passed. I have no family that I've been connected to for a very long time. And I'm a single 47 year old living in Los Angeles, okay? I don't really have friends. I know people that I connect with. So I know what I'm talking about when I say divine intelligence will guide you. The messages will come in. The healing will come in because it's happened for me. And I'm no better than any of you. I'm just doing what I know I'm called to do and I'm serving. All right. Now that leads me to the next thing I want to talk about. Getting readings, psychic readings, and how that all works. Because I think that there's a big misconception about getting readings, getting tarot readings, seeing psychics, okay? So let me use the example, I'm gonna use the prop. This is your soul, right? It's within you. Your mind, your personality, a lot of that is shaped from your trauma, from your lived experiences, from what you feel like you wanna do, what you think is the right thing to do, and that's all based in, in what you've lived. And a lot of times we think we're going after what we want and we're not going after what the light wants for us, what it wants to share through us. A lot of times we're having relationship issues. We're depressed, we have anxiety. Nothing that we're doing in life seems to stick, seems to work. Things in our physical life are out of balance, right? Why? Because we are out of balance in some way. We're not fully congruent with our light. And it can be a lot of different things, a lot of emotional stuff, mental things, as well as physical things. And you yourself may not be able to see what's getting in the way between you and your light, right? Like there's a space right in here. Now, that space that's right in here is where I come in as a medium, as someone who does soul readings, because I'm reading what's been getting in the way of your connection between you and your light. And that will always go back to what happened in your formative years that I can see, sense, hear, feel, and help explain that to you in a way that gets you to open yourself up. And then we go back to all those old, what, emotions that are connected to all those old experiences. So essentially this space is the subconscious. It's what's going on in the subconscious. And none of us know what's going on in our subconscious mind. None of us can know that. A way that you can know that is when you work with a skilled medium or a psychic that's allowing what? Divine intelligence to flow through them to give them the insight, the information, and the awareness to bring it to you, to bring to your awareness. And when you bring awareness to what's out of balance, that's when the healing happens. So I wanna illustrate this because this is really 
important in what I want to teach. Now, remember what I said. I, as a medium, I'm reading and looking specifically at what's not allowing you to fully connect to your light because you may feel like I want more money, but the only way to get the more money is to truly connect to your light and your power. You may be thinking I'm having relationship issues or I don't have a relationship. The only way to co-create an aligned relationship is to truly be in alignment with your light. Hear that? Wake up call for somebody. You might feel like I don't know my purpose. I don't know what job I'm supposed to take. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my life. I don't know why I feel so incomplete. It all goes back to the same thing. So I'm reading those specific nuanced things at the deepest level to reflect it back to you. Essentially, we're compassionately confronting the shadow. So you can get into alignment and then understand your power and then things start to flow in. That's one way of reading that I have found is the most effective and transformative and the results are longer lasting because I'm bringing you back and home to yourself. Now, there's another way to read that a lot of readers do that are not developed, are not skilled and don't understand how their gift works, the mechanics. Instead of me reading that space in between you and your soul, I might be reading specifically what's happening in your life, which is a direct reflection of the disconnect between you and your soul, right? I'm not going to that deeper level. I'm looking at the job and I might, you know, do some tarot cards and I'm like, oh, there's a lot going on at your job. You know, there's someone that doesn't like you. There's someone that's challenging you. You're being overworked. Okay, that's what the cards are telling me. I'm seeing here that you're dating a narcissist. You're dating someone that doesn't always tell you the truth and it looks like they're playing games because I have the Joker, right? How many of us have seen that? Or the cards are telling me someone's thinking about you. Someone's coming back in your life from your past and it feels like you've been thinking about this person too or this is someone you had a connection with and it just didn't work out and you always wondered about them. I'm seeing that they're gonna come in. That's one way of reading. I'm reading the surface. I'm looking at the effects in your life. I'm not looking at the cause. So when you get the reading, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. This person's telling me everything that's in my life. It doesn't really serve you because you don't understand how that was created. You don't understand on a subconscious soul level what's playing out in your life. And so you can get those kinds of readings and they sound good and they feel good. They don't really hold you accountable to anything, but you'll continue to create the same thing in your life because there's no inner awareness. There's no inner transformation. And we're not getting to the root. The core is always in the shadow, in the soul. This is very Jungian. Carl Jung talks about embracing the shadow going into the shadow to find enlightenment. In my own journey, this is how I've healed and this is how I've helped people over the years. So you get to choose and it's why I always say on all my platforms, do your due diligence, do your research when you're going after a psychic. Just because they're cheap and they're popular doesn't mean that's what you want. What you want is connection to the soul. You wanna understand what's getting in the way. What are the things that you cannot see, right? So then when you work with me, for example, and I'm bringing things up and I'm using this as an example, what I'm talking about, you know, what happened to you when you were six and what was going on with your parents and the conflicts that happened and the fighting that happened and what you used to do to protect yourself and then the limiting beliefs that were created out of that in order to survive, which is living in that space that I talked about that separates with you and your light, right? The limiting beliefs. And then I'm talking about how it's been showing up in your life, how it's been limiting you, and what you're experiencing now as a result of it. Then once you see that, you can see super clear, everything goes back to that one moment. Now that we've made that aware, and we know what's there, then we move into what? The soul healing, the healing work. Okay, and healing works in the same way. I might do a separate video on this. 
a lot of people get their aura cleansed, their chakras balanced, and they feel good, and it's like, oh, this is great. Or they're going to some singing bowl event, and it's like, oh, this is great, but it's just the surface. Because what is going on is at such a deep level, you're still gonna go out and live life and create the, the same situation because wherever you go, you take yourself there. You take that inner child there. A soul healing goes deep into the cracks, into the causes, the memories from when you were six, identifies exactly what it is you've been holding on to since you were six or nine or 10 identifies that there's resentment that you didn't know you had towards your mother. There's unforgiveness and anger that you didn't know that you had that you suppressed to protect yourself. You hear what I'm saying? This is how I work. There's people in the world that do work this way, but the majority of people do not work this way because they haven't gone deep within themselves. And this brings me back to what I stated earlier. It's about oneness. My job as a medium as a reader is to help bring you back home into yourself. It doesn't serve you for me to do a surface reading. It serves you for me to go deep, deep into the darkness, into the drudgeness and identify what happened to you, how it changed you, how it's been showing up in your life. Also identify how you lie to yourself in ways that you don't really know, where your people pleasing comes from, where your fears come from, it all goes back to an experience. And so through divine intelligence guides the angels, your higher self, when I'm doing a reading, I'm able to perceive all of that, reflect that back to you. Now, this is the thing that I want to say, and I want to be honest. It requires you to be completely open-minded about what's being shared with you. And there may be a part of your ego that might not resonate with it because in order to accept it, it means opening up an old wound that you don't want to visit. But know this, you were led to book the session because you're ready to open up old wounds that you didn't even know that you had so you can create something new for yourself. So you can step into who you, who you really are. So you can come back home into your own inner divine nature and then once you do the work with me, you're able to create because now you're in alignment with your source. And now from your source and your practice, because I'm gonna help you establish your practice, you can create what you want, whatever you want using the tools because I've used them for over 20 years. Is that an orb? Are those orbs? Somebody leave me a comment and let me know. Are there orbs? I'm always asking the angels to show up. I'm so into this message I haven't been paying attention but that's how readings are supposed to serve you they're never meant to do predictions tell you what to do it brings you back into yourself because you are source in a body you are not all of source but part a big part of source living as a human and if you can understand that then you can approach getting spiritual services from a very empowered way but know this it takes a lot of skill to do what i do i told you the story go watch my videos i've been doing this since i was in my 20s i am 47. i've taken a bazillion classes with great teachers not only at arthur finley in um, london i've studied with shamans i've done training in australia i've done countless mediumship trans mediumship um workshops mentorships with Andy Bing, Google him, you'll find who he is, Tony Stockwell, Mavis Patilla, God rest her soul, Colin Bates, all great teachers from Arthur Finley. And before I did training, before I even trained with Doreen Virtue way back in the day, my first mentors were my angels, were my guides, were the Ascendant Masters. So I work from a very therapeutic, I posted this, Carl, Carl Jung, Jungian, um, bio psychology, integrated psychology, physical neuroscience way, but using my gifts. When you get a reading, you're not supposed to tell the person why you want the reading. If they're good at what they do through divine intelligence, remember, I will perceive it. Why? Because I'm in connection with my light. My light is perceiving what's coming through divine intelligence about you. And now I share it with you. 
Does that make sense? And I really wanted to say that because it's important because a lot of people are getting taken advantage of and you don't understand what's going on and you're getting readings and doing healings and nothing's changing, all right? Leads me to the last thing I wanna share. I am doing a group soul healing, okay? It's going to be monthly. It's June the 23rd from 8.30 to 10.30, two hours. It's going to be an intensive. The reason why I'm saying it's an intensive is for the first few minutes, I'm gonna talk, I'll do an introduction, and then the rest of the time is gonna be all about you going on your soul journey to heal. So essentially, instead of doing an individual one hour soul healing with me, which is 300 bucks, you get to pay $97 and experience that in a group setting, but there's more time than I'm dedicating because I really want to show people how to be their own healer, how to go back, and uncover what's been going on on those deeper levels, but also understand how to let the soul show you what you're to do next, show you what you're here to do, and learn to work with your power, all right? Not just cutting cords and clearing the aura, that's surfacey stuff. Then we're gonna go deep, deep, deep into the subconscious, and we're gonna do it as a group, and I'm gonna guide everybody that participates into that space. And anyone that's having issues, I'm gonna know it because I'll be watching you psychically. Anyone that's done soul healing work with me, you know how I work, okay? And so the reason why you're gonna benefit from this if you take advantage of it is again, you get to do this deep, deep, deep work in a group setting, there's support. You're only paying $97, so you're saving $203, okay? And I wanted it to be affordable, but I wanted it to be something I do on a regular basis. Why? Healing happens in facets. So that's going to be the very first soul group healing that we do. But every month, it will be something different that I get from spirit. There'll be different themes. We might look at past lives, okay? We might go on soul journeys to remember who we were when we were powerful, when we were one with source, right? To recapture that power, that awareness. Okay, we might focus in specifically on abundance issues, love issues. It's going to be spirit, it might be forgiveness work, heart chakra work, physical healing. So, you're going to experience the healing, but you're also being taught at the same time. So, instead of going to a workshop and paying all that money, you're paying 97 bucks, and I'm going to take you through this and share with you what I know for two hours. Now, two hours is a lot of time, but it could go longer and I may extend it. I may make it three hours. It just depends on how the energy flows because I'm not gonna stop until spirit says it's complete and everybody is complete in the group. Then you'll have a chance to do feedback. I'm gonna ask everybody to share because it's important to hear what people have experienced. Then everyone will get next steps and tools, but I'm not giving it to you. I'm teaching you how to get it from your soul so you can understand how to develop that power, that relationship, that awareness. So what it does is it develops you psychically, personally, and spiritually, which is what most people want, okay? Another thing is this. It'll be a great investment for anyone that feels like once a month, I wanna do some energy work. I need a tune up once a month. And you can do that if you want, or you can book an individual session with me. But this is going to be here and it's gonna be something that we do every month. I would love for you to participate. The link will be below. You can go to my website, click on events to find out more information about it. But this is a season of me empowering you to be in your power. This is a season of me sharing my gifts with you to empower you, to help you see your blind spots. I'll also do coaching for anyone that's interested in, in private mentorships. That's something totally different. But I wanna share this with you and let you know what is available. You don't have to do it alone. This is something that is going to be affordable. We can do it through Zoom. You don't have to be on camera. You can be on the phone, sit in your chair, lay in your bed, from anywhere in the world, all right? So sit with it. If it resonates, I would love to see you. 
on June the 23rd, okay? I hope that the date is right and I'm not misquoting. Check out the flyers on my community page and on the website. But I would love to see you and I would love to hear your feedback after you discover all that you are from the journey that we're gonna go on, all right? So as I close this video out, I wanna give you an activity, you know, some soul work. I want you to experiment as you go through your days and ask the angels, ask spirit a question about your life, about something that you want, a direction that you're going in, and then ask them to give you an angel number to confirm the answer, to give you the answer through an angel number. Pay attention to the angel numbers that you see and then go back and look them up and notice the synchronicities that are showing up. Notice how each number corresponds to different messages. So then you can create your own system of communicating back and forth between you and the spirit world using the numbers. And you can also do this with the animal totems too. All right, so this is the end of the video. If you've loved this, if this has inspired you and helped you and taught you more than what you knew, do me a favor, thumbs up the video. It always helps my content. Leave me a comment and let me know. Have you seen angel numbers? Do you believe in angel numbers? Do you see numbers all the time and you don't know what they mean? Leave it below. I wanna know if you're going through a lot and you liked what I had to say about how I work and you feel like that kind of work is for you, I wanna invite you to book a soul reading. I would love to work with you, hold space for you, and to bring to light what's been bubbling beneath the surface that you can't see, that you can't sense, that if you wanna go beyond a typical tarot reading, a typical psychic reading to something deeper to really help you, I'm here. And the link will also be in the description. I love y'all. Um, this was great, I love doing this video. The next video, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, it's gonna be a surprise. But I have a running theme, so I'm gonna talk about other things that I know show up through divine intelligence. All right, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll see you in the next video.